Welcome to Career Insights. The Career Insights series features local industry professionals engaged in conversation with students and recent graduates about career planning and job opportunities in Polk County, Florida. I'm the superintendent of the Purebred Poultry Show at the Florida State Fair every year. Until recently, I was also the youth superintendent. And uh, not only that, but that probably came about because I'm an American Poultry Association licensed judge. So I travel around the country and even into Canada judging uh, pretty high level poultry exhibitions, probably the highest there are in the United States. And uh, that requires knowledge of a lot of standards. Now, the, the odd thing about that for this kind of presentation is that I am not in agriculture as a living I'm, a, I'm actually a minister of a church, have been all my life, and, and yet I do this uh, quite regularly, more as an ad, avocation. And I think that's one of the things I'd like to get across to the young people today, that ag, from what I've seen in life, an agriculture education not only benefits you in something that you might do for a living as a vocation, but also has a great benefit to you as an avocation something that you do because you love all through life. My name is Eric Castellano. I work at the UFIFA's Tropical Aquaculture Lab. You know, aquaculture is very diverse. I'm going to I'm gonna try to keep it uh, pretty uh, Florida-centric, and most of what I'm going to say applies throughout the United States. Top five commodities in the state are ornamental fish, clams and oysters, aquatic plants, uh, which are mostly used for the ornamental trade, and alligators, and then at the bottom is food fish. So a lot of what we do in the state of Florida focuses on that pet trade. Um, if anybody's ever had an aquarium, 95% uh, of the fish that go into pet aquariums that are grown in aquaculture in the United States happen in Florida. To see the full Career Insight segment, please visit Polk Vision's YouTube channel.